You ever notice when you get this little notebook up here and you got 15 seconds to type everything if you're actually playing with somebody? Well, we now have a uh, option to download this as an app. That way if you type stuff and, and you try and do it quickly and then before you know it, it's boom, it's gone. And then everything that you typed is gone. <laughs> Hello WGT player, Clint here again with another video. I know I just did one yesterday, but I ran across this and I thought it was sort of important to go ahead and throw this out. I'm uh, not sure when this happened, but I ran across it a day or two ago. And so I thought I'd throw this out and let everybody uh, know that uh, uses the WGT uh, notepad. And of course the WGT notepad, uh, if you don't have it, you go to Photoshop, uh, and Enhancements, and it's right here. You know, 500 credits, you get the notepad. And the Photoshop under Other and Enhancements. From here at the WGT uh, website, um, using Google Chrome, and it seems that it only works on Google Chrome because I tried it on my cell phone, you know, the regular default internet, and I could get the uh, notebook to come up, but every time I typed something and hit save, it would say did not save. And then I tried it on my cell phone using Google Chrome, and I was able to uh, use it that way. And a fellow club member last night, he tried to do it on Firefox, and it also didn't work, so he had to go to Google Chrome. So as far as I know, you have to download this on Google Chrome. Anyway, just go to WGT.com, its main website. And if not uh, already signed in, you have to sign in. And once you get signed in, you'll click on Community. And go to Golf Courses. Open up any golf course, and you'll see right here, Open Notebook. Click on that. I'll bring up the notebook. And uh, it has all the courses on it, even the best ofs. So, you know, for example, see, we got the new one, PGA. And, you know, uh, if you use the notebook before uh, in the regular game and you already have notes on it, those notes will transfer over to the new one. And also, if you're using this and you type in notes, the next time you reload your game, it will transfer over to the game and vice versa. If you're in the game playing by yourself, you don't have that timer, use that notebook. And uh, once you close out of the game and then reopen the notebook outside the game, it will transfer over. So for it to transfer over, you have to close them and reopen them for it to transfer over from the game and from the separate app. <clears throat> and to get this as a separate app, just click on the little, I'm on a Macintosh computer. Uh, it should look pretty close to the same on a Windows uh, PC, I'm not sure. But you click on the download button here. Click on install. And it'll install it as a separate app. Okay. And if you ever want to uninstall it, just click on, well, for the Mac again, just triple dots and you can click uninstall. Anyway, this will put it in your uh, Google Chrome applications. And if you're not sure where to look to find that, you can, on a Mac or have you do it on a PC, click, right click on the icon in your taskbar, go to Options, Show in Finder, it'll show you where it's at, and you can click and drag it to, you know, wherever is most convenient for you. But you can put notes on here, you know, for the fairway and the green. And it was like the regular notepad in the game. You know, go to each hole. And you can go to any course you want. That's one thing you can't do in the game. <laughs> one bad thing about the notebook in the game, you can only put a note on the hole that you're actually playing on. But this one, you can go to any game or any course or any hole. Like, you know, uh, St. George Hole 4. It's also on Best of Hardest, Best of Famous, uh, Best of Hard Fours, 
So if you put it on uh, one, it doesn't transfer over to the best of. So you have to type the same note in on each one. Now on the app, I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. I'm not sure if it transfers. I doubt it does. Like say you're on St. George 4 and you put a note. If it throws it back and transfers automatically to the to the Vesta, I don't think it does that, but you know, you never can tell. But you can go ahead and do it yourself. Just, you know, type the note and then go to if you know what hole it is, you know, go to the next one, uh, you know, type it in. But uh or you could just use, you know, Microsoft Word or your regular computer notepad. And just type the note there and just copy and paste it to all the all the courses that one holds on, you know. So but this will uh, allow you to use the notebook outside of the game, which means there's no 15 second timer when you're playing with somebody and you got all the time that you need to type your notes. Alrighty. Well, I thought I'd use, uh throw this out there real quick for everybody to know. Like I said something new for me i don't know when it uh, became available i actually noticed a couple days ago uh but if you got any questions or comments just uh, enter them below and thank you for watching my video and have a wonderful day